process of healing began a year ago in the chaos of the rescue efforts at the finish line, but just about everyone agreed that the 2014 race was an essential step in trying to close wounds of 2013. Question is, why? My guest is Joseph Tetch. He's an associate professor of psychology at Boston College. Joe, it's good to see you again. So, you, I've read what you, some of the things you've written. You speak of closure today, a word that a lot of people use but have no idea what it means. Why and how was this closure today and for whom? Well, before that, let me say that I'm trying to see my way through this with the four C's. And Meaning? the first is community and courage. Mm -hmm. One has to first say that when that bombing took place, strangers became friends, ordinary people became heroes. Mm -hmm. And Boston traumatized changed to Boston strong. So in a way, uh, if you look back at that trauma and you look at what's happened in the 12 months since then, on Patriots Day, among the 36,000 runners and thousands of watchers, there aren't any patriots. There are only super patriots. And that was clear because of their courage. Okay, can we get back to this closure thing for a couple of seconds? Yeah, the closure, yeah, the closure's yeah. coming up as the, the fourth C. I, I understand that, but okay, but, what's but the, the second th and third? The third C would. has yeah. to be compassion mm -hmm. because Boston showed compassion with a capital C, people helping people. And when you give, you receive. And therefore, we have to acknowledge that, that there was a lot of compassion with heroes helping people and the victims. Mm -hmm. And uh, the fourth C is closure. It's a little mixed, but the closure is that in psychology, if you have unfinished tasks, unfinished business, it haunts you. And it's what's called PTSD, post-traumatic syndrome, post-traumatic stress disorder. Mm -hmm. And in that, the trauma creates memories that linger and linger and linger. So for 12 months, there have been lingering memories, and the closure is you undo, by completing the task, you undo Meaning that stress. crossing the finish line. Crossing the safely. finish line and cheering crossing the finish but, line. But you know, I, I, Joe, I hear you, but I, you know that great old Peggy Lee song, Is That All There Is? Today, I get that. Let's put the survivors aside for a minute, the runners and the spectators, which is what I want to talk to you about first. Uh, I hear that, but tomorrow when we wake up, uh, uh, Heather Abbott still doesn't have a leg. Mm -hmm. Jeff Bowman still doesn't have two legs. Yeah. The Klieg lights are off. Uh, the media attention is going to dissipate. And they've got to learn to live uh, with, with disabilities that are just uh, uh, horrific, as, as big as their smiles have been. So at least for them, that closure doesn't come, if it ever comes, does it? Closure means closing the front door so that big time stress, big time trauma, big time horror doesn't come through, but the back door is always left open. So closure is mixed. You get closure on some of the major issues and you don't get closure on everything and you have to deal with that as you would any problems in life. So you're absolutely right. It's not perfect closure. It's closing the front door for big stuff and the back door for very important stuff. And are the re are, are, are most of uh, Greater Boston, and when I say Greater Boston, I don't just mean physically Greater Boston. I mean everybody who's felt connected to this from coast to coast, sometimes around the world. Are they going to move on tomorrow? I mean, this has been a very special year and a special week. Obviously, it was the anniversary, and then six days later was the marathon. Beautiful day, mm -hmm. beautiful people, all that sort of thing. Americans have attention spans like gnats for mm -hmm. the most mm -hmm. part. Are we all going to move on to something else, and then every year we'll mourn for what happened last year? And then, But is that the way it's going to be? Well, if you'll forgive two more Cs, the celebration, yeah. and then this caution, because there is a lingering memory. There are missing limbs and people have to deal with that by therapy, talking to each other. It's wonderful to talk out these problems with each other. Well, so the bonds, to, I have to say, amongst the survivors uh, epitomized yeah. in that photograph between Hazlitt Davis yes. and Bowman was just every survivor whom I've heard interviewed says it's the strength of, and support of the other survivors that's been so critical to them. So even if they don't get closure, they do see compassion from their fellow mm -hmm. sufferers, which I know matters a lot. And those people who are still suffering will attract do-gooders. And those do-goods will be a wonderful thing for the, everybody. When including one, the do-gooders themselves. When one gives, two receive. I like that. Joe, good to see you. Be well.
Uh, Joe Tetch, new video just in of Dick and Rick Hoyt, you know them, crossing the finish line after.